So, all it did was point here? In the 30 seconds I had to examine the artifact? Yes, all it did was point at a second star system. Arcadia Colony, to be precise. Population a little under 3 million, largely unexplored, but apparently quite the vacation resort. There's something there, Captain, and I think it's important that we get to it before the Covenant do. Our orders are to investigate Harvest. We still don't know a lot about what's going on down there. I understand that, Captain, but everything I see here tells me that we need to get to Arcadia to figure this out. Very well, Professor. I'll clear it with Admiral Cole. Serena, set course for Arcadia. Aye, sir. Crazy mystery trip to Arcadia plotted in, spinning up FTL drive. Serena, get out of my lab. Serena, situation update, please. Two Covenant vessels came out of slip space near Arcadia. The Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong engaged immediately and caught one with its shields down. We lost the Texas and Belfast. The Armstrong is venting atmosphere and Autumn is badly damaged. The second vessel is engaged in surface activity. What kind of surface activity? Unknown. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Audio only. Getting visuals now, Captain. Serena, launch pods. Bring the ship to alert. Hello everybody, this is Phoenix bringing you the fourth mission in my Halo Wars Legendary Walkthrough Guide. This is Arcadia City. This is also the third video in my little walkthrough series about this mission and the third strategy that you can try to implement into uh, trying to beat this mission. This is the Hornet strategy. We're just going to make pure Hornets. But we're going to get started the way we've always gotten started in the previous two videos. And we're just going to send Forge and the Hornets to go take out this squad of Grunts. Immediately, as soon as you get to those grunts, you're going to microwave forage, move them back and forth just in case they try to throw plasma grenades at him. He saves a little bit of health. It's going to be nice for you. Take out the ghosts as they pass. Uh, take out the uh, grunt squads as they uh, land out of the spirit dropship, and then just follow them to the subway station right here. And you're going to target down anything you really want to. I recommend targeting down uh, the things closest to you and then start to target the ones farthest away from you. Uh, subway shouldn't take more than a minute to clear out that this entire sequence actually should be done really really quickly as soon as you see the subway clear immediately uh, backtrack all the way to where you would find Adam take out these jackals right here feel free to grab the black box while you're here and then we're gonna go right over here take out the elites just like we did in the previous videos and we're gonna target the one you're gonna use force to take out the ones on the ground use the hornets to attack the ones in the uh, sniper tower be very careful in this little location. You could get grenades thrown at you. There is a uh, chance of that. Uh, just micro forge like I am. Just keep him in like a staggered, not a staggered line, but in a line where he's just constantly moving. Uh, as you saw there, he, they did throw, uh, throw a plasma grenade. So there's a chance. Always a chance for that to happen, but uh, most of the time you should be good. Use your hornets. To go clear out these grunts while Forge is going to gather the uh, the supplies. If your Hornets are taking a little too much damage from those grunts, feel free to micro them away. But once uh, Forge is done gathering the supplies, immediately start attacking those grunts. You can start taking out the ones in the sniper tower, the elites in the sniper tower, if you would like. Uh, no matter what, you're going to send Forge to go take out uh, to go gather the supplies next to Cargo Ship Two. Use your Hornets by target, uh, to target down the uh, Wraith, and then start targeting down the uh, Elite Honor Guard. You want to make sure that Forge has very uh, few threats that pursue him. At this point, you can use all your units to attack the Elites at the Sniper Tower. See some civilians getting uh, absolutely decimated, but we'll go save them in a, a few moments. 
Taking out these elites is going to be nice for you. As soon as you take out those elites, you can go send Forge over here to go gather the supplies next to Cargo Ship 3. Use your Hornets to mop up the rest of the enemies attacking Cargo Ship 3. At 1810, there's going to be a squadron of Banshees that are going to come down and try to uh, wreak some havoc on your Hornets. But you outnumber them, you are more powerful than them, you will easily dispatch them. If any Hornets are taking a lot of damage, just feel free to micro them away from it. Uh, just be careful. Always keep an eye on your unit's health. That's why uh, health bars are awesome. You can use your units to take down the elite honor guard first, which I suggest. And then you can use all your units to take down the elites sitting here in this little sniper tower. Usually at about 1725 to about 1735, you'll get this awesome cutscene where Cargo Ship 3 will just go boom. Um, there's nothing you can do this, uh, to prevent this cutscene, so don't try to save Cargo Ship 3. Don't waste the 350 uh, supplies trying to repair it. It's still going to get destroyed, and now you're out 350 supplies. So, um, Just a bit of advice uh, for those who accidentally probably make that mistake. Uh, we're going to quickly go uh, rescue Alice, and then we're going to go right down here to our ba uh, what would become our base. I think I was at... So at this point, you can uh, set Adam uh, free, and he's just going to take a nice little jog over to Cargo Ship 2. You don't really have to uh, uh, worry about any enemies between uh, your base and Cargo Ship 2. Alice is there guarding the bridge, and uh, most of the time you actually aren't facing any enemies at the bridge. So Adam will probably get over there uh, pretty easily, so just kind of just let him do his thing. You don't need to send an escort, but if you feel like it, uh, I guess one Hornet wouldn't hurt or Forge. Anyways, we're going to gather the supplies and then we're going to go head over to Cargo Ship 1 where things are getting a little spicy. Take out the Wraith, of course, and Forge immediately to go gather those uh, supplies. Get that reactor and supply pads ready at your base. And then get that station upgrade. So again, we're always making sure we're doing something. We're just not uh, sitting there idly looking at uh, our supply pads getting built. We're just kind of making sure we're doing something. We're dropping that heal and repair right now. That way uh, we're nice and refreshed when we go around the map and go gather more supplies. Making sure our hornets are actually getting repaired. No point in putting it down if they're just going to be outside it, right? Alright, so now we're going to focus on uh, saving everybody. But I do want to talk about kind of what I've been hitting on the past few videos about making sure you're focusing on saving your cargo ships. You don't need to focus on anything else except making sure your cargo ships sand. Uh, Micro is very much your friend in this mission. If you feel like your hornets are getting a little too banged up, micro them away. A lot of the, the AI is not smart enough to follow you. They're going to target down something else. So start targeting down the things that you uh, can target down in this area. I would recommend targeting down the enemies that are not in the sniper towers. They do send a lot at you right here. Uh, they, I actually never saw a forest this big usually. But I kind of just started baiting them out. Start taking down them, uh, whittling down their forces a little bit at a time. Forge just getting a little banged up. Um, gonna try to see how long he lasts. Pretty, he's pretty low health, but he should be able to uh, handle the attacks coming in right here. Focusing down each elite. Gonna move him up. Bring him back down. Alright, so we got those last uh, elites right over here. There's a ghost about to attack cargo ship one. We're gonna go backpedal to go uh, save them. And then probably going to drop that heal and repair unless we go take out these grunts really fast and then we worry about it. Got a lot of enemy units coming in. We're going to really just run away. Careful of, uh, careful of vampires. They are anti-air. They are the hard counter to uh, hornets. Don't try to be a hero with your units. Just if you feel like they're getting a, getting a little too banged up, feel free to heal them all up. 
Uh, the safest location to do that is at your base. Don't put them on top of a cargo ship. It's not going to be nice to you. They're not going to be nice to you. You're going to lose a lot more than you're going to be saving there. Making sure we're looking at each of them. It is wise when you're using heal and repair. There's only so much uh, health that your units are going to get out of a heal and repair. Um, and it only goes so fast based on the amount of units that you have inside of the heal and repair. So you do want to try to make sure like, oh, okay, I have a nice, uh, kind of like close to full health or full health uh, Hornet. I recommend just taking them out of the heal and repair uh, ring and just letting the others get a little bit more health before. Because I'd rather have four three-quarter ones than two half-filled ones and two full ones. I mean, it's still going to be the same health, but those two that they're going to target down are going to be more... They're going to target those ones down more than they're going to target down all four of your three-quarter health ones. Anyways, we're just dealing with saving cargo ship one right here. Uh, nothing more important than that. Not even your base. So these hunters here are, uh, completely didn't care about what was going on with me. Um, gotta get that air pad ready, get these turrets up and running. Looking around the base. Uh, not looking around the base, but looking around the map, looking at what's going on. We're actually going to use our Hornets and Forge here to actually go and uh, kill those Hunters. Except Forge, because again, remember, uh, Forge is a vehicle and Hunters do a number on vehicles. Targeting down those Hunters, going to take uh, take down all the uh, Grunt Squad, this Grunt Squad right here. And then we're going to head right back to Cargo Ship 1. Lots of stuff going on around here. It looks like they just don't want to be, they don't want to relent at all. Gonna set a global rally point next to Cargo Ship 1 because that's the one we're gonna be uh, spending a lot of our time defending. Gonna start getting our Hornets ready to uh, start building our Hornet uh, Armada. That way when we go around the map we'll just have a swarm of them. Um. Always be very careful with forest in your cargo ship, because remember at a certain point the enemy, uh, the Covenant will start to kamikaze on top of your, uh, on top of your cargo ships or on top of forge or on top of pretty much anything. So just be careful of that. If you do get lucky, uh, you might have a Spartan and a Vampire. That's really really awesome because what will happen is is they'll use the Stasis Bomb ability. Which will freeze the uh, Banshee and when it gets uh, destroyed, it won't kamikaze into any of your cargo ships or any of your units. So it's a really cool uh, it's a really cool thing that happens. Um, I, there's, I, wouldn't re I wouldn't recommend relying on that though. There is like a 20% chance that that will happen. And there is a good chance that it will just get destroyed anyway. So I tend to put my eggs in the... Uh, I'm just going to defend with my army basket instead of relying on RNG and hopefully a Spartan will land in the most and like in the anti most in one of the best anti-air units in the game so anyways back to what we're doing over here we're just making sure that uh, we're keeping an eye on what's going around around the map making sure that if we see hunters we microwave forge if we see any vampires we microwave micro away our, our hornets Making sure that we're cognizant of our counters, making sure that uh, we're focusing on the cargo ships, making sure, um, making sure that we're applying strategy. We're not doing things without a cause. Uh, one of the things I touched on in the previous videos is uh, a lot of the things, uh, a lot of the mistakes people make in this mission is uh, focusing on your own base rather than the mission objective. You can do this entire mission without a base. It's going to be really, really difficult. But you can do this mission without a base. So I do want to suggest to anybody who's having difficulties with this mission to really just focus on uh, saving those cargo ships. You can do all this other stuff later. You can get that extra Hornet out um, later on. You can um, build another reactor or get your extra upgrades later. You have time. What you don't have time for is losing any unnecessary health on a cargo ship. Drop a heal and repair whenever you possibly can on top of the cargo ship. Even if it doesn't need any health, uh, if it doesn't need any health, have your units sit next to it. That way it's still getting some health 
as uh, your units are gaining health. Just in case, um, th there's these small little strategies, small uh, things that can help you out in beating this mission that are very, very, that have helped me out while I've done this mission. Making sure we're keeping an eye on our hornets, of course. There is one turret up and running. We're going to micro that hornet away as fast as possible back to cargo ship one. Looks like it got destroyed. I didn't micro it away fast, micro it away fast enough. But again, you're going to be fine. If you lose a unit or two, it's not the end of the world. We haven't lost a single one except that one hornet, which is really, really good at this point. I'm going to set our new global rally point. Uh, t uh, right next to our new base. That way, when things get built up, we just worry about uh, intercepting Covenant at our base rather than at Cargo Ship 1. Uh, doing that uh, serves two purposes. We uh, defend our base, and we also defend Cargo Ship 1. And we also get fresh troops at the front lines because we are going to build an air pad on top of our second base. Going to get that built up. Be very careful of these honor guards. We have plenty of hornets, so they ain't going to get anywhere close to forge. So, again, this is the hornet strategy is my favorite strategy. It's just really, really easy to... Uh, it's just easy. As you can see, that locust is getting, uh, getting bum-rushed by both a locust and a vampire, which is really cool. I like it. Don't, again, if they have a stasis bomb, you're pretty much set. You're doing, you're doing good, kid. So just like my uh, focus has been in the past few videos um, about map presence, we're going to create a mobile force, and we're going to create a force that uh, kind of just sits in defense like we have been. Um, the importance of that is that we have plenty of units to defend against those banshees that come and attack, and we also have the ability to... Um, save civilians at a much uh, at a much higher rate with those mobile hornets and the hornets are one of the most mobile uh, units in the game you're going to be able to get from point A to point B much quicker than you would if you just had marines for an example being aware of what's going on in the map is very very important in any strategy game that you ever play being aware is in general is very very important in any game you ever play uh, making sure that you're realizing oh uh, this is going around around the map, so be in the habit of looking at the map uh, at the mini map at times. Um, just take a quick glance. If nothing's going on, don't worry about it. If there are things that are going on around the map, you're going to want to spend some time and uh, try to stop them from attacking, or uh, try to see what they have. For an example, that way you can con uh, counter their uh, counter their forces appropriately. That way you can get a little bit of a step ahead. And, uh, yeah, it's just my little tip on how to play a strategy game. Um, this mission really just comes down to your reaction. A lot of this is scripted. A lot of this is scripted to the time that you see on the screen. So if you do see, like, this trio of Banshees, most likely it's going to happen to you. It's going to happen to you at five and a half minutes. Be prepared for it. Um... No matter what happens, no matter I play this mission multiple times. I can guarantee you, at about two and about two minutes fifteen seconds, the Covenant will just start sending swarms of their uh, units at you. That will guarantee happen. Um, another thing that I can guarantee you that's scripted is at about a minute ten, they're going to turn on the uh, Covenant Mega Turret, and everything's just going to get really, really hectic again. You're, these are the things that I'm talking about when it comes down to paying attention to patterns, paying attention to what's going on around the map. Paying attention and looking at, uh, it's keeping attention to detail. And attention to detail is extremely important in terms of strategy games. Espe this mission in particular, as well. A lot of the difficult missions in this game are because of, not necessarily a uh, difficulty in and of itself, but it's because there's so much going on around the map, I don't think that um, new players, players who are... Uh, really focus on trying to beat this mission are worried about that i do want to apologize for some crappy editing i had a uh if there if you guys noticed um there might have been like a little uh frame mess up because i had like my controller disconnect because of batteries i'm sorry uh but i can guarantee you everything here is still the same video i promise anyways um 
another thing use your hotkeys hotkeys on your controller are very important if you have the if you have this game on pc use your control groups control one control two stuff like that um trying to think of what else is very very important to talk about again keeping an eye on your units making sure you, their health isn't getting too low like that horn in the right right under the mini map uh microing him away would have been probably the better call instead of just keeping him there but i think i had faith in uh all those hornets ability to keep that one hornet alive um again heal and repair is your friend heal and repair is your friend don't be afraid to use it use it as much as you want look at that, how much money we have we have so much money that i rarely ever get uh upgrades in a mission like this and i'm getting them getting the freaking upgrades i'm more worried about keeping the everything alive but i'm doing so well with these hornets that i don't have to worry i'm doing i'm doing good Keeping those, uh, keeping everything alive, keeping, worrying about, uh, anticipating, basically anticipating the attacks is what's making me successful. Knowing the times, knowing that in a few seconds, I'm going to get that swarm of enemies that are going to pour out right in front of my base. And I'm already prepared for it. I have my turrets set up. I have my Hornets on standby. I'm using Forge appropriately. I'm keeping him around. And I'm, I'm building everything around this so when that two and a half uh, when that two minute ten seconds come around i'm gonna be right i'm gonna be fine everything's gonna be good and i have everybody in position i don't have to worry about um uh, i don't have to worry about these random uh random things that happen because everything in this mission it's not random don't worry about the pot the plausibility worry about the 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 facts you're going to get attacked at two minutes so be prepared for it i did lose a hornet there uh i tried to get them all healed up in time but unfortunate um i lost one some of this is luck i'm not gonna lie to you sometimes you're just gonna get those uh, banshees that aren't gonna kamikaze into your cargo ship sometimes you're gonna get that mega turret that's not targeting down your cargo ships which will turn on at about one minute five seconds so again, focus on, uh, as I said, focus on the stuff you can control. You're, there's just going to be a chance you're going to be unlucky. That's okay. That, that's not a big deal. Micro ring forge away is a good play. Especially when you have turrets firing down uh, a wraith that's pretty close to being destroyed. Um, a majority of the time, though, the mega turret that did turn on just now is not really going to... Um, attack your cargo ships a majority of the time it actually will start targeting your base so like for an example that field armory that i have right there it's going to focus more on that rather than focusing on uh let's say cargo ship one or cargo ship two keeping an eye on forge making sure everything's going good around here right now we're just trying to like we're in such a good position we're just trying to maximize uh civilian rescue or how many civilians we're rescuing or Minimizing civilian casualties, if you want to call it that as well. Um, at a certain point, you got the, you know you got this mission in the bag. You're confident. This is a lot of practice. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did this like 15, 20 times to get to this video. And that includes the other ones as well. Again, it's just a lot of practice, guys. And I really do want to stress that. This mission is not going to be easy the first time you do it. Take your time. Get down the timings. Spend a little bit of time thinking about the build you want to do. Look at the counters. They're going to have a lot of everything. Pick the strategy in the guys that I showed you. And pick the one that you're comfortable with. That is how you're going to succeed. And that is how you're going to get this gold medal. And that is the success that I want to see everybody get. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys liked this. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I will see you guys next time for Arcadia Outskirts. Thank you guys for watching.